you know, one of the fastest ways to break out of the conditioned mind. lies in devotion. You cannot be feeling devotion and at the same time be involved with thinking. Devotion is the natural orientation of the human heart turned toward the beloved. The, the pull can be felt as longing. Is the pull of self to self. both of master to devotee and devotee to master. Because the nature of God, the nature of the beloved, is that the beloved is seeking you. It's all so different than the mind's interpretations. The mind always has this idea that I am seeking freedom, I am seeking God. But what is discovered is that it is God that is seeking you. And the pull is the pull of devotion, the devotion to you, the love for you. Everyone who has lost their way, but is open and humble, gets to receive the beloved's longing for your return home. It is possible to feel the longing of the beloved for you. The most precious, beautiful thing. And the byproduct of receiving this is devotion. Every single thing that comes into manifest expression arises out of the beloved. All set up in a particular way for each particular player, offering exactly what is needed. For that which has forgotten to remember. There is the feeling of devotion, I imagine, for all of you. Devotion to truth, to God, to the self. But it is the devotion of the beloved, the devotion to you.
that is actually what is being felt. This devotion is tasted when the identification with the egoic mind is released. When the identification with the egoic mind is released, you recognize yourself as beingness. You recognize yourself as totality. It is in the taste of this that there is the flavor of devotion. The conditioned mind can tell a story about devotion, but cannot feel it. It is the heart that lives in devotion. And the origin of this devotion is where the devotee meets the master where the absolute meets the relative. But where the absolute meets the relative, the relative disappears. Or what is relative is appearance. The separate character is appearance. And in the yearning of the heart, in the devotion of the heart, there is a letting go of what separates you from your master, from the master, from the one. And out of this devotion, everything that gets in the way is discarded as appearance. And the falling back into the heart is the taste of pure devotion that is actually the devotion of the beloved that you receive, for you are the receptacle, not the creator. You receive the beloved's devotion to you, the beloved's longing for you, and the taste of it is so incredibly sweet and tender and beautiful and alive. Out of receiving the beloved's devotion for you, what is born is your devotion to the beloved. And where there is devotion, there is no separate character. There is pure grace, unknowable grace, where love is meeting love, devotion meeting devotion. How does the beloved express devotion through every single tiny detail in the play. When you receive the beloved's devotion, 
what you are receiving is from where all the phenomena arises from, as opposed to the conditioned mind's interpretation of phenomena as separate objects. But you feel the unmanifest essence that brings forth the manifest experience as a roadmap, a teaching as a welcoming home for you. In this moment, in reality, in the beauty that lives in the heart, can feel it feel the aliveness of the heart, can feel the devotion of the beloved, which is everywhere in everything, pouring into you, always. what occurs in receiving the grace of the beloved is a readiness to let go of relationship with the mind and my story and to be carried, to be carried in the infinite expanse your light permeating absolutely everything alive absolutely everywhere. Vibrating, vibrating in the flavor of pure devotion, alive within you and everywhere. And the byproduct is deep peace, deep peace and wholeness, happiness for no reason, felt where beloved meets devotee, where master meets student. except the student is not a student in this taste. For the student is a concept. And when all concepts are put down, there is no knowing. And where there is no knowing, what remains is the feeling of yourself, which is no longer experienced in a point of reference, but everywhere. Receiving everything that is offered from where it is coming. And all of it is coming out of devotion for your freedom, for your return home. Right now.
and just like the aliveness that you feel in this connection. It is the melding of my aliveness, the truth of who I am, and also the aliveness of the beloved in the celebration that you are beginning to remember yourself. as this beautiful flavor lost in this infinite soup of life. Saturated just to feel yourself, just to receive the master, just to feel where the master and what is called myself meet, and to feel the devotion that is born out of this grace. Why become involved in habits of distraction? It is all being carried anyway. The doer is imaginary. The beauty is the feeling of your being. When you are feeling your being, you are feeling yourself everywhere. When you are feeling yourself everywhere, you can feel the beloved and the beloved's devotion for you, for your freedom as the infinite sky. To feel in the heart the infinite sky. And the byproduct of this taste is pure devotion for every single thing. But when there is devotion for every single thing, the taste of the devotion is for the one thing. The one thing that can appear is so many different things. But when you are open in yourself, feeling yourself everywhere, then you receive the beloved, the source, the essence. as the one taste, the only taste. And this that is the only taste is the taste of pure devotion.
letting the life in its entirety be carried. For when this occurs, it is carried by the wisdom. And the wisdom is devoted to your freedom. And when everything that is offered is received like this, then everything is in alignment. And the only taste that remains is the devotion to it all in this moment, vibrating with aliveness. Vibrating with happiness. Vibrating with love and unity. And it is all felt as the union of myself with the beloved. So <clears throat> let us sit and just drink this in for a little while before questions. <clears throat> 